So anyway, Sag, welcome back to welcome or welcome back to the channel, Elevated Spirits. It's Jazzy, your favorite Cali reader. Um, this is gonna be your full moon quickie, okay? So doing this for all the signs, um, just to find out what this full moon is either highlighting for you and or bringing back into balance for you. And the reason being is because um, if you follow Vedic astrology, like myself. Um, it's in this, this full moon is in the sign of Libra. However, it goes into Scorpio on the 25th, but obviously others that follow Western astrology, this, um, reading is in the sign of, of Scorpio. So transformation, um, changes, death, rebirth, you know, shedding of old layers of skin of our, you know, parts of ourself that, you know, no longer serve. But I was speaking in the, um, doing these in the sense of Libra and karma and cause and effect and balance, you know, rebalancing the scales of justice, making things fair, bringing things, you know, in that were wrong, making it right type of energy. Okay. So sap. Interesting. Okay. With the diamond at the bottom. So uh, Virgo energy here. So card number six, Virgo energy. Some of you may have Virgo in your chart. You may be a Virgo moon. Um, Virgo Sun doesn't matter the placements obviously um you may want to check out the Virgo reading but yeah so this feels like it feels like some of these Sages are coming into whatever you've been needing it's like the universe is providing is exactly what I'm hearing whatever you need you are being provided so it feels like some of you Sag which I can relate um have been going through a season of drought and I don't mean just <laughs> oh spirit you're so funny um wow lord <laughs> This just got real dirty, real, real dirty, real fast. Anyway, um, some of you could be sexually, right? Passionate, you know, you are the, the fire sign. So for some of you, it could be in that sense as well. But that's, you know, because we also have roots here. So anyway, but what I'm more so in, because I see the drop of water here that's coming off this faucet anyway. So <laughs> some of you could be being replenished in that way. However, this is more so talking about, I'm getting your root chakra, okay? Which is your, your money chakra, your center of stability of safety security um material resources things like that that flipped over in reverse just like shoo, shoo. eight of pentacles in reverse so this is for some of you sages something that you have given up on stop working on or just kind of like stop putting in the effort you stop it feels like you stop once you stop trying that's when something comes in it's like you, you you've uh, opened the floodgates of abundance in some type of way now for others of you if this has to do with a job that some of you have recently lost, maybe you got fired in some type of way, something like that, some type of job or loss um, financially, it's like you're being, it's being, you're being recompensated. I'm hearing recompensated. So this could be something that you was already, that you should have already gotten, but they had like taken it from you. So this is like, it's actually, you're being, it's being restored. Whether it's coming in the same form in which it left is coming, it's regardless, it's being replaced is what I'm getting here. So let's see, what else for Sage? For some of you, it's your energy. Some of you just haven't had the energy to do anything, to, you know, put in, to work on anything, to work on your projects, to be creative. Some of you have been just like really drained of your energy from like being able to even go to work for some of you, but others of you like myself that are creatives and we work from home, things like that. Some of you haven't been, you just have not had the energy to put in towards yourself. Look, four swords, okay? So <clears throat> for some of you, it's like your, your life force energy is being returned, it's being replenished, it's being recalibrated. It's being in, like nourished in some type of way, okay? So it's like, for some of you, it's like the vitality, your passion, your drive, all that is, it's been like zapped in some type of way lately. That's being restored though, is what I'm getting here. Let's see, what else for Sag? For some of you, like I said, um, if you've been concerned or worried, yeah, some of you have been self, like sabotaging your own progress in some type of way, okay? Whether it's like overexerting your energy, giving to, like, kind of like spreading yourself thin to where you have no 
no energy internally that's why you're not seeing what you need externally being returned to you you see what i'm saying it's as within so without so if you're depleted energetically internally you will start to see depletion externally as well so some of you have been experiencing that but like i said that's being returned it's like your creative life force energy your creativity your um your I'm hearing uncompromising it's like some of you are not compromising anymore you're not compromising yourself compromising your energy to like your inner peace for some of you in order to make others comfortable in order to like fill others cup up but then you're left drained and depleted it's like you're not doing that anymore you're not doing that to yourself anymore and i agree i agree completely um let's see let's get over our outcome message for Sag. knight of pentacles okay so some of you, this is this is something that's maybe been a long time coming. Some of you been waiting. Look at this shit. Come on. Come through, spirit. Come through, spirit. Look. Justice. Okay? At the bottom of the deck. This is what you don't see. For some of you, it's like things are being restored because you started taking care of yourself. Things that you've been manifesting. Okay? It's like it's finally things are finally life. It feels like Sag is starting to be become more balanced. Um, things are maybe becoming more stable for you because you started pouring back into yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's all energy. So it makes sense. That if you're depleting yourself energy, meaning, for example, if I give all of, you know, the rest of my coconut water, which is about right here, if I dump it all out and, and share it with everybody around me, right, what do I have left? It's empty, right? So it feels like some of you, that's what you've been experiencing where life, the universe has been showing you through your material resources. For some of you, that's the only way that some of you will listen is by seeing your the depletion in other areas of life to be like yo i really need to focus on myself i really need to get my shit back together or get myself back on point so i can have that to share with other people okay it feels like it was showing up that's been reflecting itself through your material finances through your resources even if it's not just money but your energy your ability to take action your ability to do things okay to you know some of you it's like this need to really um, ground yourself to really go within take some time to yourself with yourself by yourself okay this could have to definitely have to do with love this could be showing up in your relationship some of you have been giving way too much to your relationships where it's you know making you like i'm done like i don't want to put in the effort i don't want to try anymore i don't want to work anymore some of you that's you know because there's healing that needs to be done okay there's it's it's also about taking a break you know relaxing meditating giving yourself a fucking break some of you you've been sabotaging yourself in that way by overexerting, overdoing, overgiving, okay? But all these fucking major arcanas, we have the justice with the magician, the lovers, the wheel of fortune, okay? Which is your also your card, Sag. So this is like, things are balancing out, okay? So that's what this feels like. So where some of you, and, and also like I was saying earlier, for those of you that have, you know, had some type of finances or resources taken from you or were just kind of like stripped of you, whatever, that's being returned. Where if you've been stressed out, if you've been finding yourself kind of like, not really wanting to tell anybody what's going on um find yourself like kind of like sabotaging other things in order to make ends meet kind of like robin peter to pay paul type shit okay it's like you're coming into this energy of being able to relax okay i feel like some of you are being asked to relax in advance like act as if be as if not even act let's not even make it an act let's be as if it's already taken care of if you're stressing about a bill or some type of you know how am i going to pay this how am i going to buy that how am i going to do these things start you know taking time out of your day to just be be as if it's already done be as if it's already happened okay because like i said some of you are coming into financial resources in some type of way it's like whatever has been taken from you or done wrong it's being made right your karmic debts are being paid right now okay whether you see it or not right and it, it makes sense though because this is at the bottom of the deck so for me as a reader these are hidden messages what's at the bottom of the deck so of course you may not see it right now right so like i said for some of you sages this is something you've been waiting for it feels like it's been taking a long time okay for some of you this could be tax money but even though taxes just you know the deadline just came okay but others of you this feels like it's been longer than that this is not taxes this feels like like something else some type of settlement or just you know being out of work or something like that for some of you but whatever this is that is coming in whatever these resources are it's gonna last it's gonna last and for some of you that's why it took so long anything that takes a long time is worth it's gonna be around for a while if it takes a long time it's because it plans on staying for a long time that's what this knight um of pentacles represents okay he's loyal um and for some of you this could also be regarding a connection okay like that i really wasn't getting that at the beginning but now looking at it again that could be who this is a person who is going to stick around for the long term others of you you're being asked to being told or guided to make a plan start planning for the future start planning for this money these resources when they come in because they are literally on their way balance is already it's like this is already being restored you just don't see it yet so this is spirit saying get ready 
Stop trying, stop putting in the effort and rest, relax. The resources are coming. Stop sabotaging, okay? Keep it to yourself. This is also what I'm getting here, is when these resources hit, keep it to yourself. That's also what the Seven of um, Swords represents is, you know, kind of like, you, it may seem like you're being sneaky, but no, you're just flying underneath the radar because not everybody needs to know your business. Not everybody needs to know what the fuck you got going on, especially when it comes to your money, okay? So just, you know, keep your, your faith in the right place. And I'm not talking about that, you know, bullshit belief you have to know knowing and belief are two different things okay belief is the vibration of doubt we're talking about knowing this that all is well all is taken care of all right let's not have to use that until next time i'm out